These days we are commemorating the two-year anniversary of the landing of the Perseverance rover on the Red Planet. On February 18, 2021, cameras on the rover and its descent stage recorded this footage, which has become legendary. The Perseverance rover landed with the help of an advanced navigation and control software which evaluated images from cameras and chose the safest place to land. Compared to the previous Mars missions, the rover was able to land much closer to scientifically attractive locations, which would have been too dangerous to land on for the missions in the past. Since then, the rover has been studying the bottom of the Jezero crater, in which was a lake of liquid water in the distant past. During its scientific campaign, the rover focused mainly on the area of the ancient river delta. It is there that the highest concentration of sediments brought by the flow of water is expected. Scientists therefore expect that organic substances could also be found in this area. The Perseverance rover is equipped with seven scientific instruments that help to select the most scientifically interesting rocks. The Rimfax radar, for example, performed almost 677,000 analyses of subsurface layers. The SuperCam instrument, on the other hand, fired more than 231,000 laser pulses at various targets in order to determine their chemical composition. When the scientists identified an interesting rock, the rover began sampling it with a core drill. In total, it took 15 such samples plus two regolith and one atmospheric samples. Tubes with these samples might be delivered to Earth for detailed analysis in about 10 years. But we must not forget the other successes of the mission. For example, the MOXIE instrument was the first one which was able to extract oxygen from the Martian atmosphere. Although the total amount did not exceed 100 grams, it is still a tremendous success and a promise for the future. A category on its own is the Ingenuity helicopter, which arrived on Mars together with the Perseverance rover. As a technology demonstrator, it was only supposed to fly five times. However, it did so well that the mission control team changed plans, and up until now Ingenuity has 44 flights to its credit, lasting almost 80 minutes and measuring about 9 kilometers in total. Over the course of the Perseverance rover's mission, nearly 170,000 photos from Mars were sent to Earth. The rover, which has traveled almost 15 kilometers so far, completed its main mission at the beginning of this year, but it is definitely not going to be retired. Since it is in good condition, it has commenced the follow-up mission. In the following months, it should climb up towards the mouth of the ancient river. Scientists expect that they may find interesting rocks over there, which the river current could have collected tens of kilometers away to transport them here. The Boeing company and the NASA evaluated the progress of the preparation of the manned test mission of the Starliner spacecraft. So far, it seems that the launch will not occur before the middle of May. On this mission, a two-man crew will be launched on a several-day test flight. If there are no major obstacles during it, the Starliner will be qualified for operational service. A few days ago, after a long delay, NASA gave Axiom Space the approval to carry out the AX-2 mission, during which a former professional astronaut and three space tourists are to fly to the ISS for several days. Last week, the company announced the names of the remaining two crew members. Together with Peggy Whitson and John Schaffner from the USA, Ali Alkarni and Rihanna Barnawi from Saudi Arabia will fly. Thank you for watching Spaceflight News. If you are interested and want to know more, you can write us a comment. Thank you for your interest in Spaceflight.